was something that I've never seen in my career. Homes and cars underwater after floodwaters overtook Hidden Night Family Campground. Three people are dead, a child and an adult still missing. More than 30 people rescued. Calls started coming in at 4 this morning. I asked Gillespie if this could have been prevented. He says they've spoken to all the residents of the campground before. We had recommend that any time there is a lot of rain that we need to possibly look at evaluation or evacuation and, and similar. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acre Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Make sure you click this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you'll be notified every time we upload new content. Now here in front of me, I've got a series of bottles here that I'm having to visually inspect. And the sad part about this is I literally just visually inspected these because we were going down to Florida and we needed these bottles to go with us. The problem is we wasn't able to take it. Now if you're not really familiar with our area, we've had a tremendous amount of flooding here recently and one of the water rescue teams I'm a part of, we actually went out and did a 33 person water rescue. We had a campground that flooded and we had to go out and respond to it and rescue a bunch of people. Unfortunately, we had several that lost their lives. But during the response to that, while I'm running emergency traffic to this water rescue, I actually was involved in a motor vehicle collision and I wrecked my truck because the roadway had actually gave out underneath my truck. Now, the biggest damage that was done was just a little bit of damage done in my truck, but also also these bottles and let's talk a little bit about these bottles and why I'm actually visually inspecting these anytime you drop a bottle yes it's metal it's a very hard material but it's aluminum even with the steel it doesn't take much to actually damage these yeah they can take a fall here or there but if you're involved in a wreck they're already pressurized so they're working pressure it's always better to be safe than sorry and I want to show you actually on this particular tank here the valve just to show you how hard of a wreck I, I was involved in the valve in itself didn't shear off it was fine but you'll notice i've got the valve knob off and what i mean by the valve knob is basically that right there it's just an on and off knob internally on that and i've showed you this guys in a previous video there are these little posts and that's what actually turns the valve on and off there's also a seat in there it locks into it and that's how you open and close the valve well on this particular one this post is actually this post you can see where it clearly sheared the post completely off um, and we had a little difficulty being able to visit this one because we had to drain the tank to do that I had to tear the valve apart with it still pressurized put a new post in it temporarily just so that I could open up the valve and drain it out now it comes time to actually visit these some of these tanks wasn't damaged some of these tanks were strapped down um, but I'm gonna go ahead and visit them all just to be on the safe side unfortunately they they wasn't all my tanks some of them were our customer tanks as well so before I give them back to the customer and repressurize these I'm gonna do a good thorough visual inspection of these cylinders. Um, it's nothing really important, guys. It's just your, your life, and we should always be cautious when it comes to high-pressure cylinders, or like what I like to call it, our life safety equipment while underwater. So with that being said, I'm going to jump into these. I'm going to give you some final thoughts here at the end, but guys, always be safe. If you drop a tank, don't use it. Go out there and get it viz. It, so what if it costs you an extra 15 to 20 bucks? It's, it's worth a whole lot more than losing your life over. So with that being said, I'm gonna jump into a quick visual on all these and then I'll get right back with you some final thoughts. So just kind of it to reiterate why we do this anytime that these tanks have been stressed they've been dropped on concrete metal 
uh, just falling out of the back of a pickup truck, or in my case, they were involved in a motor vehicle collision. Things like this is what we're actually looking for, even just during a normal visual inspection. It doesn't really look like a lot, but here around the neck itself, you can see where the metal's indented in. And one thing that you have to remember, this is aluminum. It's a very, very soft metal. It doesn't take much to damage it. And yeah, it's just a little indention, but at the same time, it could warp this entire neck area. And that means the valve itself is not gonna be nice and secured. You also see here just below it where it's took a little gouge out. And that was actually from where the tanks, during the, the wreck, the tank came up and got slammed back down on the metal tank tank racks but there's a little bit of extra damage here um, the depth of it is not really too concerning with me what's more concerning is that it's around the neck area itself so I'm gonna do a little bit more thorough inspection here around the neck area just to make sure none of those threads were damaged you know the good news is if it is damaged to the point that it's not gonna be safe to use it is my cylinder and not a customer cylinder but even so my life is worth a whole lot more than just a metal drinking can. So with that being said, I'm gonna finish up this and hopefully not find any more damage in it. Alright guys, so I got all these done. Uh, just found a little bit of minor damage to a couple of the tanks. Nothing really that uh, would want me to condemn it. I did have to replace one of the valves. Um, but all the tanks are going to fare pretty well, thankfully. Uh, we didn't have to take any out of service because of it. But now that I've got these vised up, I'm going to actually take them out and get them, or take them down to a compressor room, get them filled up, put them back in service. Because I can't stress this enough, any time that you have damage of any type to your cylinders, or even if you think there may have been damage, drain it, take it in, get it vis, get it, you may even need to get it hydro just to test the structural integrity of the system or the cylinder, but don't risk it. You know, there's nothing really important, it's just your life, so don't even risk it, get them vised up. So what if it costs you $15, $20 for, for a tank? It's, it's definitely worth uh, worth every penny of it when it comes to your life. But guys, like I said, unfortunately I was involved in an accident when I was responding to an emergency water rescue and this happened, so this is one of the consequences of it. But with that being said, I'm going to drop a link down below where you can actually donate to the victims that were involved in this uh, water incident. They lost everything. They lost their homes. They lost their cars. They lost uh, all their possessions and unfortunately five or six of them actually lost their life as well. So guys, there'll be a link down below you can click if you want to make a donation. As a matter of fact, uh, you guys know we're monetized here on YouTube. Every bit of monetized money that comes in for this video is going to go to the victims of our recent flooding. So guys, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button for me. Definitely share it as well. Get this video seen by millions of people out there because every single penny that we get on this video is going to go to plus we're going to be donating some of our own money as well here and we're going to be donating a lot of clothes and personal items as well to the victims but guys help me out share this video definitely uh, hit that like button every like that we get every share that we get every comment that we get 
obviously we make revenue because we are monetized but every single penny that we get on this video is going to go to the victims but guys i really appreciate you watching this video if you got any questions do me a favor put it down in the comment section below and i'll try to answer it the best i can as always guys make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business